safety. Samuel Ajayi is doing a PhD in nuclear physics in Florida. He started a campaign to challenge the testing system. I encouraged people, I said, okay, we can do this. We can write to these schools and then tell them that we, as Nigerians, we speak English. When they, when they come into contact with many Nigerians receiving their mails, they can have a rethink. He says one U.S. college told him they weren't aware there were Africans or Nigerians who spoke or received their education in English. Some decided to exempt for the individual candidate that wrote. Some decided that, okay, we will not waive it entirely, but we will allow you to write Duolingo English test, which is like an alternative to TOEFL or IELTS. And the good thing about that is that's way more cheaper. They responded uh, with a comment of... Um, Back in Nigeria... Faith says she refuses to give up on the chance to study abroad and will be hoping to save enough money to do the test next year. Olivia Ndabwisi reporting from Lagos. You're listening to Newsday with Lawrence and Carney. Let's take a look at the two main headlines.